world's most extravagant supercars are built in such limited numbers that demand often outstrips supply. The waiting list for a Lamborghini Aventador is over a year. The wait for a new Pagani Huayra is over three. Supercar dealers like Tom Hartley offer a solution. He scours the globe to buy nearly new supercars for sale on the used market, then sells them to his millionaire customers, meaning they get the car they want, but without the wait. Believe it or not, some people will actually fly in here, yeah. walk in the showroom, do the invoice and fly back out again. It's, it, will, it can happen like that, especially if we're dealing with foreign customers who sometimes don't speak English. By 2 p.m. on the day of filming, Tom had already sold a Bentley Mulsan, Ferrari California, Ferrari 458 Italia and a Porsche Cayenne. Not a bad morning's work and not out of the ordinary either. We do approximately about 40 cars to 50 cars a month. That's international. Today, I'm throwing myself into this rarefied world by becoming a supercar saleswoman. Their first front-engine V8. That's right, so. yeah. Do you know your cars, Vicky, don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> quite, I, I feel quite intimidated when I talk <laughs> to you. Although I'm not totally sure I share Tom's killer instinct for a deal. I used to stop people on the high street and buy Jaguars from them that they didn't know was worth more money than what they'd paid for them and sell them to impatient buyers. Wow. There was clearly a lot to live up to. So, before I was let loose with a customer, I learnt about the stop list. Uh, this is an Elton John Ferrari. So he would have specced this car, wouldn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. So he's gone for the beige interior yeah. with, the, with the brown dash. That's right. That wow. was the colours then. Oh, it's got um, an the original, old... That's the original 8-track. Eight 8-track eight stereo. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to give you a little test. See if you qualify for being a Tom Hartley sales lady. Because I have a customer coming here, Mr. Martin from uh, Martin Jewellery. He's mm -hmm. a jewellery dealer. Uh, he's a car enthusiast and he's coming to look at this car today. And I'm going to see if you can sell it to him. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. That's well, ridiculous. Well, I'm going to test you and see if you can. Okay. The key thing is he can't go anywhere else and buy one today. The price of this car is three hundred and five thousand. There is a little bit of flexibility because he's an existing customer. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave the negotiation to you to be no more than or no less than three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. So you've got that flexibility. Okay. Good luck. <gasps> okay. Cheers. I've actually got sweaty palms. <laughs> 300 grand. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Aventador. Right, great. When I first met Mr. Martin, I was quite nervous. That was sort of the most um, sort of awkward that I'd felt. Hi, Mr. Martin. Lovely to meet you. Welcome. Alex, please. Alex, Thank hi. You. I'm Vicky. Yeah. Hi, hi Vicky. And, and welcome. Thank you. Now, the Aventador, I know that you're quite keen on. I am, yeah. yes. Uh... Look at those beautiful, big, beefy tyres on that. I wanted something to um, fill the dead air with, though, at one point, so I did discuss the wheels. See, you, know, you never have to clean them, black no, wheels. No, exactly. Never... Yeah. 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 It's much more angular than the, uh, the Murcielago. Yeah, Murcielago was very sort of sweeping. This has definitely got yeah. m many more edges to it. Yeah. And a great big V12 engine. So Mr. Martin slid on in, and I tried to sort of paint a picture for him of, of you know, how he would use the car. So what would you use the Aventador for? If I got an hour or two to myself, maybe on a Sunday, we got some lovely roads around Wales, as you know. He said that he would use it for, for some Sunday jaunts, so I thought that was quite good. And it, it seems a perfect fit for you. What a short, short on <laughs> the leg. Go on then, how much? Well. So then it came to money, something I never really like talking about. This is 305,000. Yeah. So, and we would love to do business with you, of course, yes. as we have done in the past. Yes. Um, well. You won't be able to drive another one away today. No. Well, I'm on the spot a little bit, aren't I? But uh, with 290 grand, be enough. No, I'm afraid no. not. No. Um, Much as we love your custom and we love, yeah. love dealing with you. Yeah. What's best? We could do um, a little less than 305, but 300 would be our... Is that the best? Our best, yeah. Go Great. on, then. Oh, Thanks, wonderful. Vicky. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business no, okay, with you. Okay, thank you. Now, would you like a, a massage yeah. or a... A massage? <laughs> 
Good Lord. I'd have given you the 305 if I'd have thought I'd have had that <laughs> too. <laughs> well done, Vicky. Oh. You, you passed the test. Oh, thanks, Tom. You made good conversation. Yeah. And okay. you made the cus customer felt very comfortable. He enjoyed the conversation with you. Do I get my commission there? Well, we'll discuss that in the office. <laughs> okay, yeah. If we discuss that, I'm going to lose because I can't gave, negotiate. You gave five thousand about oh, a way, yeah. remember? I've just lost you money. Yeah, no, you didn't. We, we made a profit. Okay, cool. But that will affect your commission. Okay? <laughs> That's a fair comment. But I'm happy if you're happy. I'm very happy. And do you know what's the most important thing? Mm. Mr. Martin's happy. happy. Yeah. That's the most important thing.